Hello people, welcome back to The Overwhelmed Woman. I'm Emma and this video links to the video I did recently about getting older because it's about the pressures that you may feel to have cosmetic surgery. Um, and I would say here that there is no judgment on this. I'm only telling my, you my own personal view. And I actually had breast augmentation in my 20s and um, I don't regret that decision at all but um, if I'm really honest looking back the reason I had that surgery was because I felt um, uh, pressured in a way not by an individual but by the environment around me and um, that was compounded as well by the fact that I grew up in you know the 80s when page three was a big thing of course all the women were very shapely and curvaceous and that was so far removed from the way that I was I was very very painfully painfully skinny so um to me uh I, I just completely felt unwomanly and having the surgery really did help to give me that confidence but here's the thing now as a 48 year old and especially having seen my husband go through such a lot with his health and have operations and procedures that he has not had a choice in um, it has kind of changed my outlook on things and I do wonder if if I could go back to my 20 odd year old self knowing what I know now would I have gone through that surgery um, because it's still while it did make me feel more comfortable it still never fully changed my own feeling of self-worth and you know the irony is despite this very confident exterior that you might be seeing at the moment um, I have spent years feeling self-conscious about myself and my figure and it has been compounded by the fact that my best friend in the whole world is about as curvaceous as you can get. She's like a Marilyn Monroe and, it, and I just never felt that I ever matched up to my thoughts on what a woman, a real woman, should look like. And, um, you know, I look at so many young women now when they're having their face filled with stuff and surgeries and they're totally changing the way that they are and I kind of feel really scared about it because I just wonder how they are going to feel when they get older and look back and a lot of them are so young they're not really even aware of what they are about to develop into and how their bodies will change naturally over the years for example you know when you have a baby your body naturally changes and um, I actually preferred my body after I had my baby after I had my daughter then before it um so look I guess what I'm trying to say is if you are considering surgery um no look that's your call and I have had it and I'm, I'm glad I did but it's really about understanding the deep-rooted reasons why because that's the thing that you need to fix and I I just wonder sometimes if because having surgery and procedures is so acceptable now and it's part of you know your own ability to make choices about your own body and that's a good thing and it should be encouraged but that you're just doing it for the right reasons and certainly if you are pressured in any way um, or you feel for example that I don't know you're with a partner that really likes curvaceous women and you're very very small chested then it's about making the choices to have something done for you and not in order to um, placate someone else or someone's or someone else's opinion of what you should look like really that's what I'm getting at and you know the whole thing about fillers and Botox and all of that stuff it's not my back personally but I know that for example a, a, a very dear friend of mine has an acquaintance who does procedures like that but she's a registered nurse and she is shit hot at what she does and um, she'll know who she is when she watches when I see she watches this video but you've all seen those pictures of once beautiful woman, women that have just wrecked themselves by just doing a lot of unnecessary stuff and um, you know I've got an 11 year old daughter and I will be very very honest about telling her that her body is hers to do with as she wants and um, 
you know, I can hold a hand through life, but it's not my job to live that life for her. But I'll also be balancing that by saying, look, if you're ever, you know, don't feel pressured. Do things if you want to for you and not because of all that other stuff around it, which might mean that the choices you make won't actually make you happier anyway. Um, so I hope that's been insightful for some of you. And um, don't get me wrong, I love the girls. <laughs> Wouldn't change them for the world. But um, yeah, I, I, I just think it's a very grey area and you've got to be really careful about doing things for the right decisions that will actually benefit you and your feeling of self-worth and your long-term mental and physical well-being as part of that too. So if you're overwhelmed, remember you're not alone. We're all overwhelmed together just doing the best we can. I would love for you to drop a like in the video and subscribe to the channel and share the love because, uh, you know, I can't grow it without subscribers. So I'm just talking to myself. Otherwise, it uh, wouldn't be a first. And um, remember, we all deserve to lead a clutter-free life emotionally and physically. And until next time, massive love. And now I'm going to go and get a cup of tea.